the moment that that drug hit me, I was instantly addicted to it. Every time I, I thought it couldn't get worse, it did. 200 people a day die of overdoses. These people who become addicted are not out there having fun. They're in pain. And so instead of our judgment, they need and deserve our compassion. I'm David Sheff. I'm the author of the book, Beautiful Boy. And I'm Nick Sheff. I'm the author of the book, Tweak. And both were adapted into the film, Beautiful Boy. Yeah, when Nick was little, he was this great kid. I got good grades, I was on the school newspaper, I was on the water polo team, I had won some writing awards, but inside was what really didn't sort of connect with my external appearance. He was really good at showing us that he was the opposite. You know, he was doing great and he seemed fine, and it allowed us, I think, to ignore what was going on uh, for a long time. So when I, I first started drinking and, and smoking pot, it gave me a real sense of relief that I kept chasing, basically. Once I started doing harder drugs, that was really when my life started to spiral out of control. I was you know, stealing from my parents, from my little brother and sister, I ended up getting kicked out of the house and was homeless. Anything to get money, sex work. I also overdosed. I woke up in the hospital. I had an infection in my arm from a dirty needle. The doctor thought they were gonna have to take my arm off. I remember feeling like I was almost possessed and that feeling of being out of control was just so devastating. And we were so worried about Nick. We didn't sleep. I would. I could barely work. I'd go off in the middle of the night you know, trying to find him. And it wasn't just what he was doing supposedly to us. It was what he was doing to himself. Once I finally really conceded to myself that addiction is a disease, it's a brain disease, and until I start treating it like a disease, then I could finally be open to say, I need help. Working with this great doctor, getting involved in 12-step stuff, those were really the things that turned my life around. Before I knew it, I remember waking up one day and not only was the obsession to drink and use gone, but I also just felt happy. It's a miracle. I never thought it would be possible. We were like so many families who thought this could never happen to us. You know, not my beautiful boy. I entered this sort of dark place of trying to figure out what addiction is, um, I felt that it was really important for other people to know. You know, that led to Beautiful Boy. So seeing the movie, and because it was so authentic and it felt so real, it really was such an intense reminder of what we'd been through. It was an opportunity to talk about something that people don't necessarily want to talk about. I just hope that when people come away from the film, they realize that people's lives absolutely transform in sobriety, and they end up being able to live the lives that they couldn't have even dreamed of. Yeah.